here's the pump and let me just tell you you know plumbers and probably the city government does not want you to know how to fix your own stuff so today we're gonna attempt to solve some plumbing salute to solve some plumbing problems let me just show you what i got uh i i've had this problem for a pro probably two weeks or so now and i had to clean out a closet and move stuff around to even get to it so let me just show you what i got going on but i got a toilet and a shower that's backing up and we're going to attempt to fix it stay tuned So what's going on is the toilet is backing up and then it's this shower right here is backing up also. It's all interconnected. This sink, this toilet, and this shower is all connected and it is a up flush system. Now what that means with the up flush system is the pipes, I'm in my basement, the pipes for the discharge or the drain is in the ceiling. It's up here. So what the toilet has to do is have a pump and it's got a macerator pump on it. What it what that is, it's got a pump that's got blades on it. So if when you flush toilet paper down the down the toilet, it actually has a blades that spin and it will shred whatever it is and then pump it through and that helps it turn into whatever. Uh, that it just chops it up into little fine bits so the pump can pump it out. So this is the wall behind the toilet. It is a rear discharge toilet. And right there, see the toilet actually doesn't flush down, it flushes out. And so that right there is the pipe coming out of behind the toilet into this pump. And this pump goes up and I don't know if you can see it up in there. See the, the pipe up in there? Goes this way. That's what it does. What's happening is the sensor that tells the pump when to turn on is, is not doing it. And I don't know if there's a, something clogged in there or if it's just corroded or the sensor's bad. I just, I don't know. But for sure, the pump is not cutting on when it's supposed to and it's making it back up. However, I can push the button manually and it does work manually. So you have to come around to this other room and push the button. So that, that's not the optimal way of doing it. So we're gonna fix it. Let me tell you exactly what kind of pump I have. So I have an ascent two made by liberty these are uh, liberty pumps okay now let's get to it and let's take this thing apart and see if we can figure out what the problem actually is because i really don't know we're just going to take it apart and find out and whatever it is I, I hope i don't have to order parts we will see so let's pull this apart I don't know, I don't know all there is to know about this. I really don't. I'm, hey, I'm learning along with y'all. I just have just enough knowledge to maybe, maybe can fix it, I don't know. All right, see that button right there? Hear it? Hear it? It's pumping. But see, it wouldn't do it on its own. I guess there's a uh, sensor on it that says the cover's off, I don't know. Okay, that ought to be good enough. It looks like there are some star head screws on here. All right, so I'm gonna have to go out to the shop and get some star head screws and let's pull this off and see if we see anything. So it just happened to have a whole set of star head uh, sockets. I got them from a dip for a different project probably a year ago or so. 
and haven't used them since. They've just been sitting in the toolbox. So, hey, just glad that I had them. Otherwise, I would have been making a special trip to the store just for that. Uh, by the way, these star heads that I got, they have the, they're the ones that's got the hole in the center. Sometimes you'll run into that. Not very often, but sometimes it got like this tid on it. I don't know. Let's see if that's the right. That's not the right size. Let's go down one. Yeah, there we go. We can take this off and see what we got. I'm gonna go around and loosen these up. Now I'll just twist them off by hand. I've never actually taken this apart before, not this. I took this other side, this uh, side over there off one time because my grandson uh, flushed some Legos down the toilet and it was hung in there. And I took it apart to get them out, but that's that's all I've done. And I see another problem. Look right there. There's a battery that fits on this thing that has corroded over. See that battery? That is bad. And that might have something to do with it. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do some investigating and then I'll come back to you. So I took this battery. This is one of those cheap old Chinese batteries anyway. In fact, pretty much everything from China is cheap and crappy. I don't know of anything that's not. I'm not saying all of it's bad to have or use, but that gum is just cheap and crappy. They, they don't make anything good. All right, I got all the screws out. Let's see if I can wiggle this thing out of there. There we go. There it goes. It just came out. Now... This does not look good. It just looks corroded like. And I, those right there, that's the sensors part. So I don't know if that's the problem. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to clean this up and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I got some paper towels. I got some Lysol spray and I got some Clorox. And I'm going to start cleaning on this and then I'll come back to y'all. So I cleaned off the sensors right there. They were absolutely disgusting. And down in there is absolutely disgusting. So what I'm doing is, is I am filling this, I got it unplugged. So it's just gonna hold the water. And I'm gonna fill this up with water. And then I'm gonna put some Clorox in there and let it set and clean it. And then I'll run the pump and hopefully It'll stir it up and pump it out of here. Okay, I got it full of water. And all I'm going to do now, so I cleaned off those sensors, like I said. I'm going to pour some Clorox in, in here in the, in the tank. And I'm just going to let it sit a little while. Now that ought to do it. That's a good bit of Clorox. And you know how you've poured Clorox on stuff before and it just kind of kills that algae growth and all like that? Now I'm gonna put this cover back on it so it cleans that cover too. Okay, I just slid that back up on there. Now we wait. Uh, gonna give it probably two or three hours, maybe more, just to set. And the longer it sets, I think it's gonna break all that down and clean it, clean that tank out. And then I'm gonna put it all back together. Well, uh, I. I put it all back together and I didn't have my camera with me when I did it, but I put it all together and it works. Let me show you. So I got a, I got a shower right here. So the sink, the shower, sink and toilet and watch this. Now listen. Did you hear the pump kick up and run? I'll do it when it, the bowl fills back up. I'll do it again. All right, here we go. We're going to do it again. 
Listen. That did it. So, here's the pump. All, you've seen all my plumbing down here. And let me just tell you, you know, plumbers and probably the city government does not want you to know how to fix your own stuff. They want you to spend a whole bunch of money and pay a professional to do it when all I did on this pump, this ascent, uh, ascent to Liberty pump was clean it. So that, that can go to any kind of plumbing. doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes the solution is hard and sometimes it's easy, but you can too, you can too do it yourself. It goes a long way for DIY people. So, and I don't like doing plumbing. It's just that I can. So, just remember, you know, if you don't know how to do this stuff, hey, go to YouTube and check it out. Uh, somebody on there's probably done your problem, whatever it is, more than likely. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you too can do your own plumbing. God bless.